the odds of finding a shiny Pokemon are 1 in 4096. What is a shiny, you ask? Well, it's just a Pokemon, but with a completely different color palette, making things like Ho-Oh turn into a golden bird, or a Quaza becoming a black serpent. Or maybe even Garchomp, who gets a little tan? With this in mind, I decided to take on one of the most time-expensive challenges that Pokemon has to offer, beating Pokemon with only shinies. This is the third installment of this series, where I do this challenge for every single Pokemon mainline game, and I let my Discord vote for which one we do next, in which they requested we do Pokemon Ultra Moon, aka Cutscene Simulator. So after spawning into the world of Alola, putting on our drip, and introducing ourselves to the Professor, we are posed with our first shiny hunt, our starter. Now in my opinion, Rowlet and Litten are some of the best shiny starters out of all of them. And Poplio's there too. I of course let my Twitch chat vote, but they tied between Rowlet and Litten, so we had to flip a coin. We're flipping a coin! Heads! We pick Litten. Tails! We pick Rowlets. Heads or tails? Tails. The bird is the winner! With our target chosen, we could proceed to watch the same cutscene over and over. Thanks to speed up, we were averaging about one encounter every 22 seconds, which isn't terrible. But when it's basically a 1 in 4,000 chance, that's not that great. Why did I do this to myself? Are those internet numbers, baby? What's the point in life if I can't farm internet popularity? Which you two can help by clicking that like button and subscribing as we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers and every click helps out. And just because we didn't have great odds in this game didn't mean we wouldn't have good odds in other Pokemon games. And last but not least, six. Oh, last but not least, it's a sparkly one. I'll take that. The one community day, Pokemon Go really just said here, have a million. And you may be wondering yourself, Ashways, what the hell are you talking about? What are you yipping and yabbing about? When I play Pokemon Go on communities, I get maybe three or four shinies. What do you mean a million? Jump scare! Ashways, jump scare! Poliwags. All of these are shiny. Every single one is shiny. There is a total of 54. Now since shiny hunting itself isn't the most engaging activity on the planet, Chad and I spent the first few streams talking about some very unique things. Have you heard the voice act for Starmie in French Pokemon dub? No, but I want to. Go! <sighs> what the fuck? I didn't hear. Can you replicate the sound? Okay, chat. All right, bro. All right, bro. I have no idea how that was even allowed to be aired on television, but I'm booking a one-way trip to France if you know what I mean. Oh also, Regirock is here and she's looking perfect. I will not elaborate further. And just so you viewers at home can see how long this entire playthrough took, I've added a timer to the top right of the screen that I would be kinda concerned if you didn't notice by now. During this time we spent shiny hunting, Chad was teaching me how to speak a new language. Kinder just means German, or children in German. Oh, I love eating Kinder. I'm German by the way, chat. I watched your other Lola video, please never cut your hair. Honestly, that is fair. I agree. I like this kind of hair. Actually, I do want to cut it, but like, just like a little bit. Like, just a couple of inches. Because I have curly hair, so two actually look like three or four. But also, because two is a lot of inches, chat. Yeah. Like, two is, two is a lot of inches, okay? Like, honestly, I think two inches is well above average. Like, I would even dare say two inches might be too many. Alright. Like, we can all agree. That two inches is a lot. Someone in chat also decided to make a cute little Oshawott drawing, and I decided to slap this little guy at the bottom of the screen. But the next thing I knew, everyone in my Twitch chat was drawing Oshawott pictures to be added to stream, so now there's a bunch of Oshawotts all over the place. Have you played the new FNAF game? I'm gonna be honest, Danny, I haven't played a FNAF game in a minute. I won't lie, I still relatively do this. I, you know, sometimes I don't, but I used to always do this. Anytime I'd watch a Five Nights at Freddy's video, um, I would, before I watched the video, I would scan through the entire video, um, to memorize the timestamps for the jump scares so I could cover my eyes or look away when they happened. Every single time, because I'm a certified pussy. Bro definitely listens to ASMR Mommy GF roleplay after to calm his nerves. I don't know what's more concerning. The fact that you think that or the fact that you know what that is. Because I didn't until two seconds ago. Listen, there's down bad, and then there's whatever the hell you just said, bro. We gotta... Uh. But surprisingly, after only five and a half hours, we got insanely lucky. Your pencil is weird. Dangerous? Yeah, actually, I got lead in, like, my side right here from second grade. There is lead inside. <gasps> we got it! Yo! No way! 
Only five and a half hours? Oh, I was totally excited to be here for so long. I thought we were gonna be here for so long. That was so early in the stream too. There's our bird, chat. There's our bird. But the question is, what are we naming it? Sir Mint it is. And unfortunately, we must now part ways with Reggie. You have served us well, friend. All right, let me delete all the Oshawats now. Hey, if you drew an Oshawat, shout out to you. 07 of the Oshawats, you will not be missed. Or, no, wait, no, no, you will be missed. You will not be forgotten. That's what I meant. You will not be forgotten. I swear I f***ed it up, chat. With Sir Mint by our side, we can begin the Alola story. Meet and beat our rival, follow this lady, and get blown up by our Pokemon. Shiny stone? First encounter? Sheesh! We're crazy like that, chat. Oh, chat, we're, we got our papers. We are officially legal. Fear not. We are officially legal citizens of Alola. Though this does mean that up until this point, we've been illegal immigrants. Because we came from Kanto and we didn't have our papers. Moving on. You just let yourself in, dude. You just, you just walk into my house, brother. I didn't even answer the door yet. You think just because you're really high with your six pack and really, really good tan line. And you're really tall. And hot. That you just walk into my house? No! Pinch his nipples. Okay. The professor teaches us how to catch Pokemon and then we make a new friend. Doge! Hey, little buddy! Turn to the right. I, I, that's not the right, that's a 180. This is such a cool, cool little thing. Like, this needs to come back. Boo! Why is this not back is beyond me. Such a small little interaction, but it's so cute. It's the cutest thing ever. Who the hell is this? Holy thunder thighs! Did you guys see that? Dude, that guy has some thighs. Awooga. Afterwards, we're forced to fight our rival again, but Sermont elegantly dealt with his electric baby and circus seal. We rest for the night and wake up to Lily at the door, requesting us to follow her to the professor's lab, but he seemed a little occupied. Oh yeah, Rockruff, let's go. Give it everything you've got. My body is ready. Why is that guy the professor? Why is this guy legally allowed to just have Pokemon? That should be a crime. He's still going. Our next task is to clear the Pokemon trainer school. And after beating up some little kids, all that's left is the teacher. Are you ready to take me on? I think I've seen this somewhere before in a not so PG website. So turns out we actually weren't strong enough to beat the teacher with just Minty. So we went to do some shiny hunting in the yard, but we actually had to grind levels just to be fast enough to run away from Wild Meowth. We ended up getting to level 16, and I was kind of curious to see if we could actually beat Litten now that we were so much higher leveled. And we actually did. But because we kind of already were shiny hunting, we decided to keep going. Need to get used to them? Fair enough. Poggies! You With are the, the nine father. months. Damn it! I don't want to be a dad. No. Oh wait, if I'm a dad, I can just... This just in chat, breaking news. Insane woman running around in the grass in the schoolyard. Officers have been unsuccessful in trying to remove her from the property. She refuses to leave. It won't stop until she finds a slightly different colored wild animal. She is currently armed and dangerous with a blue owl. Please avoid her at all costs. My luck did not stop here though, as after only an hour of shiny hunting. It's really frustrating. Play PUBG. Oh, no way! No way! Two in one day? Oh my god! Two in one day! One. Two. Three. Let's go, dude. I wanted Meowth. I wanted Meowth. I'll take it. Name it Giggle Shitter. Mods ban Zomb. What about Lapis Butler? Lapis Butler. 
What a homie. Where will you try petting its Tauros? Or this Tauros? Oh, I'll stroke its mane, all right. You want your mane stroked, homie? I mean, just one minute, shall? Let me just, uh, just turn that off really quick while I stroke its mane. Mm -hmm. We move towards Howley City and decide to stop and take some pictures of a wild Pikachu. <laughs> he looks so pissed off in this. He looks so mad. <laughs> Who hurt you, little fella? We also made our way to the clothes store, but don't worry. Shot still found a way to roast me. There's a love disc and they're kissing? That's sweet. Love disc pulls more bitches than waves. Okay, bro. Wait, is that team... S is that not team yell? Is that not team yell? This isn't modded. These are in the game. This is every shirt in the game. They have the team yell clothes in this game? Whoa. That's crazy. After spending half an hour deciding what to wear, we beat up some Team Skull Grunts and challenged Captain Ligma. Ligma's young goose stood no chance against Lapis Butler and Meowth, and although taking some damage, Sir Mint was able to take down the Smeargle. So we won that fight, which I thought was a trial, but I guess not, so let's move on. Alright chat, I know the insane speedrunning skip method. Observe. We make our way to the beach and beat up some more Team Skull Grunts before making our way to the first real trial. Here we're required to beat up some rats, and in doing so, Sir Mint evolved. Yeah, yeah, you guys want you guys want something terrible? You guys want to know something terrible? He has eyes. Once we finish beating up the rat colony, we must go face off against the rat king. You have growl. Meowth. You do. Okay, so here's the strat. We're gonna lead me out. We're gonna fake out turn one to get a little bit chibi. I'm gonna growl because he's gonna SOS the 2v1. We're gonna switch into Rowlet or Dartrix. We're gonna set up the Omni Boost and then we're gonna fight. That's the strat and I hope it works. We put our strategy to work, getting a small bit of chip down on King Rat. And once he SOSs for a smaller rat, we can actually get off two growls before Lapis Butler falls. Between both Pokemon being at minus two attack and Sermint recently evolving, we were able to take down both the King and his servant, earning the Normalium Z. With our first shot completed, comes another shiny, and chat voted that we go for the island scan Pokemon Litwick in the cemetery. But because of some technical difficulties, we had to settle for Route 3 in the meantime in hopes for either a Cutie Fly or Halucha. Because my dog stepped on me. Oh no! I can bark like one, LMFAO. Insane! That's just me on Discord. I should rename this video to The French Strikes Back. Because if you thought French Starmie was bad, just wait. I'm terrified. Did that say what I think it said? If you think German sexy fish golding is weird, wait for the French version. Dude, so first we got French Starmy, now we got French Golding? Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna click that change teams buns real quick. The question is, do I be gay or do I be a femboy? Thankfully, after a while, I was able to complete our technical difficulties, so now we can go try to shiny hunt Litwick. Now, if you watch the streams, you may know there's an ongoing joke about Oshwaves and getting no bitches, so I had to call in a trusted source to put an end to this theory. Like, big time! Hold on, mom's calling! Hi, I'm streaming, just so you know. Don't say anything personal. Oh. Hi. Do I get bitches? Chat wants to know. Do, do you, you get... think- Do you think I get bitches, mom? Do you get bitches? Um... Like actual bitches? Or do like I get bitches? just yes, yes or no? Do I get bitches? I think you could get bitches. Oh, but that, 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 that's a, that's a, the middle ground answer. It's a yes or no question. Do I get okay, bitches? So you, yeah, you get bitches. How about you? Get right, I get bitches. I never want to hear from you again. Thanks, mom. I love you. Have a great okay, night. Bye. He listens to GF roleplay ASMR to sleep, dude. Orb, how the f do you know that, bro? Hey, let's let's ask Vector a couple questions. All right, Vector. This waves is, is waves bitchless. Oh yeah! Come on, dude. No, 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 no. You don't even understand. Cha, 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 cha. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. No, 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 no. The timestamp in the comments. I set that up. I, I literally set that up. The timestamp in the com vector. Should I drink alcohol tonight? Oh yeah! All right, all right, hey. Vector said it. Vector said it. After hanging out with Vector for a bit, 
Something crazy happened. Discord, let's go look at Poopy's Manor. <gasps> we got Shiny Lamek! Today? Wait! Dude, no way! No way! Again? I didn't think we'd get anything. I'm being so serious. I was so convinced we wouldn't get anything today. Yo, Shiny Litwick! Oh, let's go! Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. I can't hurt this thing. Yo! One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Come on, come on. Let's go! Shiny Litwick, yo, let's go, chat! Oh my gosh! I didn't think we'd get that today. I didn't think we'd get anything today, dude. What are we naming it, chat? Alright, Madam Jade is winning. Madam Jade it is. Madam Jade. And with a new shiny comes a whole new makeover. This time, we're inspired by our new friend. And I think we did as good of a job as we could. I think we kind of nailed it, dude. Green eyes, little thingy, the little blue thing in the air. Then we met up with Lily, who lost Nebby yet again, so we chased after him, met Thunderthighs again, and after beating him up, Lapis Butler the Meowth evolved into... Ew. But with this evolution came a whole new load of power that was able to solo our next rival fight against Hao. Next up on the list is to take on Hala, the island kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Lapis got some damage before getting one shot from his Machop, but we had something up our sleeve. 07 Lapis! However, fear not! For we do have not one, but two secret weapons. One with Madame Jade. You see, Madame Jade here, being a ghost type, is completely immune to all fighting and normal type attacks. So if you're not packing a dark type move, you can't hit me. What are you up to with your mischievous switches? Pursuit. Oh. Since Crepperala knew Pursuit, Madame Jade also fell and all we had left was Sir Mint. After a bunch of pecking and leaf throwing thanks to a super potion Hala used, we can eventually take down Crepperala. Akuhita is out next, but quickly falls to some razor leaves and has already injured my chops to no chance. Sir Mint does not mess around. With the fighting Nyabzi in hand and the ability to ride Tauros, we can make a way to the big wave beach where an oddly familiar face resides. Hey! I know you! Holy tan line, brother! You got uh, quite the tan line there, uh, Professor Oak. Holy! We learn how to Mantine Surf, and then make our way to Heia Heia Beach. Heia Heia Beach, baby. What a Heia Heia hose at, am I right or am I right? We meet two lovely women and travel through the Akala Island until we meet up with our rival for another fight, where Sir Mint destroyed Brion thanks to the type matchup, and got an Omni Boost from an ominous wind, allowing him to sweep the entire rest of the fight. Then fast forward a bit more, we meet our other rival, Gladion, and though we had a close fight, our team of shinies managed to remain victorious. Next up is the Water Trial, and if you've ever played the Alola games before, you know this trial is no joke. You have to fight against a Totem Araquanid in the rain with its ability Water Bubble, which doubles every water move's power before stab. Although its only move is Bubble, it ends up being 80 base power, being doubled from 40 to 80 because of Water Bubble, an additional 40 power thanks to Stab making it 120, and the Rain Boost makes that 120 become 180. Not to mention, it also gets a Speed Boost, it's a 2v1 thanks to the Dew Powder that gets SOS, it has Leech Life to regen HP, and it knows Aurora Beam which is 4 times super effective against Star Tricks. So as you can imagine, we got absolutely obliterated. This Pokemon is a monster and absolutely was our team, so we gotta find a new team member to help out. Putting it to a vote, chat wants us to go to 10 Carat Hill for our next target, so back to Melee Melee Island we go. During this hunt, I received a really sweet message from a fan that I decided to read out loud to the stream. Waves DMs! Alright, let's see what Poopy said. Poopy said, and I quote, Waves, your streams are so fun! Aw, that's so nice. I really enjoy laughing at your stupid comments and you because you're really stupid and don't know how to read. Also, you get no bitches. Wow, that was a really, really misleading message. All of your financial problems are simply one bank heist away from it never existing. Just, just saying, chat. I was texting my mom. Did you tell her I said hey with some riz? A hint of riz? No? Well, why not, Justine? She's married, dude, so? That means it's a 1v1. Just because it's a goalie doesn't mean it can't score. What's your point? After a bit of hunting in the cave, we ended up changing our location to Route 1 since we could find things like Rockruff, Munchlax, Bonsly, or Picky Peck. All solid options to potentially help in the upcoming fight. If you don't, I'm going to program Nightbot into a real life robot that will hunt you guys down. <gasps> Shut up! What is our luck? You can't make this up! You cannot make this up!
Dude! This is the luckiest playthrough I've ever done. This is the luckiest playthrough I think I've ever done. Don't get me wrong, this is the one Pokemon we did not want. But we're finding- we have four Shinies in 15 hours. Let's just go to the Oras video really quickly. 15 hours? We only had Silly. We were at this point in the game. At 15 hours, we only had one. And you're telling me we have found four? How many Shinies are on our save file, chat? Okay, sorry, I'm done now. Oh my god. That being said, though, it's literally the one Pokemon we did not want. Out of everything here, this is like the one we didn't want. Which really sucks. There was a 80% chance we got literally anything else. And it was a 20% chance we get Young Goose. Yikes. But a shiny is a shiny, chat. Smoker, thank you for the follow, homie. What are we naming this? President Lilac? Wait, you're kind of cooking. Wait, you're kind of cooking. President Lilac. Dude, that is sick. Nature guesses for our up and coming president. Chat, remember, if you... It's holding an item. Remember, if you vote for the nature correctly, President Lilac will make sure you don't have to pay taxes this year. What are we saying? Naive, relaxed, adamant, jimpish, jolly, adamant, naive, bold. I'm going to say mild. And it is. And it is. Impish. Any flare. No taxes for flare for an entire year, baby. No freaking taxes for an entire year. What is your item? What are you holding? What little what a little gift do you oh, you got a petcha berry? That is so cute. New shiny, new drip. This is our young goose fit chat. What do we think? What do we think? I, I agree. I think it's kind of cutesy. Like, low-key, it's kind of cutesy. Despite the fact that, um, you know, it's based off of this hideous f***ing thing. It's kind of cutesy. Our little candidate is becoming the president chat. Our candidate is winning the election live right now. Live presidential election day. There he is. There's our president. All right, we're not losing this time. The strat was not to lead you. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We'll stand attack. I'm gonna bubble. How much does that do? This thing does so much damage, bro. A Dewpider comes in. I'm gonna just stand attack again. Two stand attacks down. Odds are you're gonna miss at least one attack now. Unfortunately, you in fact go down, but that's okay. But I'm Jade comes out. When I'm Jade, you are going to confuse Ray. See, you dodge. Now that the accuracy is down, Madame Jade actually can do something. Madame Jade, you did your best. That's okay. Butler comes out. Okay. Screech. Araquanid. Damn, we outspeed even at minus two. I'm hoping this is enough now. Maybe with the confusion damage. Okay, you didn't kill yourself. That's fine. Maybe you didn't hit yourself. Sorry. Um, do we live this? Probably, right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna bite. Um, maybe we get lucky flinch on a rock with it. If not, it's just damage at least. You are minus two defense plus technician boosted. That's insane. Okay, we did get the flinch though. The flinch is cool. Does it really matter? Not really. It just means you don't get the leech life for HP back. Now it's up to mint. This is literally either mint comes in clutch and goes crazy, or it's wraps. Oh, I meant to do that last time. I meant to do that last time, Poopy. And give Peck the Sharp Beak. But it might be okay. Sharp Beak would have made the difference there. Do you hit yourself? You didn't hit... Okay. I was say, you didn't hit yourself once that entire time. Just by the way. I can now click Razor Leaf and we're fine. What if we miss? Please don't miss. No, wait, Axe! Dude, are you kidding me? 5% chance. That's a 5% chance. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, please. You haven't... Okay, we dodged. Never mind, it's okay. You haven't hit yourself once for confusion. You haven't hit yourself once because of confusion. Nice. Okay, we're winning. Let's go down. Huge gaming. We won, chat. After clearing the water trial, we head south to meet up with a horse who almost can speak Mandarin Chinese. Me hi. Me I I, I think no, Mudsdale, it's it's Ni Hao. You were close. It's it's Ni Hao, not Ni Hai. But you know, you tried your best. Then we're forced to play Pokemon's version of Fortnite Battle Royale, and afterwards, we can climb up the mountain to take on the fire trial. But we got folded like an omelette. 
However, I believed we would be able to win if we ran it back, and since the second time around, you don't have to fight the other Marowak or Hiker that's there, we can go into this totem fight fully healed. I thought we had to do the trainer fight again. Because we could have... I'm confident we could have won, because everybody here knows moves for Marowak. Funk. Seduction Lizard. We could flinch. Oh, and it was a crit too? Unless you have priority, we just win, don't we? Because we have speed? Yeah. Ah, nice. Love to see it. Love. The thing is, you're 1 HP, so I got a feeling you're going to detect. I think this is the play. Yeah, I thought so, so that way we can just... Okay, and then you click that. And then it's going to be a hex strat next turn, which is... Oh, wait, but that's bad. Does that spread to you despite protecting? We can hit to protect with Flame Burst. My brain is so large. My brain is so cranium, chat. Stop playing. And actually, we're fine now because I don't think Salazzo can actually hit us with anything. See, chat, that's how we dub out, baby. That's how we dub out. That's how we do it. We just got to run it back for the one time. Another trial cleared means another shiny hunt. But we have to move a bit forward in the story first, including meeting this guy. Chat, look, it's the it's the guy who's wanted for several war crimes in Unova. He claims he came here on vacation, but he actually came here to escape the government. He just won't admit that to you. Now that we've met my favorite Pokemon character, we can start our next shiny hunt. Soft resetting for Wimpod. And not even an hour later. The deck, the doc has an edge on his head. Bro, what the fuck is this? Dolly, that is literally so funny. <gasps> no, no, no! <laughs> me dude why do we get them so fast why was it so fast dude i why dude no no i literally that's not even fair i was like oh my god okay okay listen 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 literally literally listen to me okay my brain my thought process is there's no way we get this so fast right there's no way we get this so fast we've got all of our hunts incredibly quickly there's no way we get this one fast so I'm going to reset and see how many it takes per second. I counted, we started the save at three, or at 17, 44, 30, I think it was 35, or 45. No, it was thir 13, 35. So I was like, okay, it's about 10 seconds per encounter. I was, because there's no way that would shine so quickly. There's no way that would shine in less than an hour. What? Yeah, dude, I don't know what's more insane. The fact that it shined in only 45 minutes, or the fact that we found 5 full odd shinies in 17 hours. Like, to put into perspective, in the last shiny only video, we only had one by the 17 hour mark. But I mean, I guess we can get more out of context clips now, right? When I went to open the microwave, I ripped the handle clean off. I ripped the microwave handle off. Blurry Oshwaves, 3, 2, 1. I ripped that bitch right off, and I didn't even mean to. Children are annoying. Okay, so here's my next question then, Jed. If children are annoying, do you guys think that the Triangle Man is based for trying to kill the two children? Or better yet, do you think the purple guy from Five Nights at Fart Bears is based for killing those children? Who here's a criminal? Out yourself. Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Chat. Justine. You're a moderator, you're supposed to be setting an example. Why are we saying yes? He is based, yes. We love killing kids. What is chat? I need to go home. Mom, I'm scared. I gotta do homework? Um, nuh uh. Just say your dog ate it, G Man. Just pick it up, put it, like, you know, wrinkle it up, rip it up into little bits, and throw it in the dog bowl. Like, what's your teacher gonna do? If you, if your dog actually, better yet, record your dog eating it. And then bring your phone and be like, dude, my dog literally ate my homework. Like, wrinkle it up. Okay, maybe don't do that because you shouldn't feed your dog paper. Don't feed your dog paper, chat. Never mind. I thought I was cooking. Don't feed your dog paper. How do I get my family to love me? Um, win the lottery. Win the lottery and then all of a sudden your entire family will love you. Trust. It's crazy. It's like a life hack. Baby Gronk raising up Livy Dunn at the TikTok Riz party. Ohio Grimace Shake Phantom taxing my skibbity yacht. Yeah, I think after reading that message out loud, I want to rip out my vocal cords so I never can speak again. Abacadabra, Asha, check your pants. Oh, where's my penis?
After seven hours of shiny hunting and about five and a half thousand encounters later, we were able to reclaim our failed little wimp. Oh, we got it! We got it! We got it! We got it! We got it, we got it again! It's back! It's back! Reclaim, baby! Reclaim, baby! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Reclaim, baby! Reclaim and a half! Stop playing! Let's go! Let's go! One! Two! Oh, uh-oh, wait. I think we're fine, right? One. Two. Three. Yes, girl! Let's go, baby! What are we naming him? What are we naming this little, little wimp? Little wimp. Alrighty, Crusader taking the W. Alright, let's run it. Let's run it. And you all know what comes after finding a shiny at this point. Voila, there is our Wimpod drip, you know. Is it perfect? Absolutely not, but I think it does the job. I think it's very cute. W World Chat, what are we thinking? Did we cook or no? Did we cook or no? This is by far my favorite fit. We dressed to impress. The next thing to do on our list is take on the grass trial and fight against the totem Lorantis. And we lost again. Considering that Pokemon is literally my job, this was quite embarrassing. But upon running it back, we had a much more successful run. You see, this fight is really annoying because Lorantis will SOS a Comfey, which knows Flower Shield, a move that will increase all grass types defense stat by one stage. Comfey's ability prevents you from lowering Lorantis stats. The sun is always up because every Pokemon knows Sunny Day, which not only increases the amount of HP Lorantis can restore from synthesis, but it makes it so that Solar Blade, which is the physical version of Solar Beam, does not need a turn to charge. However, if we just target the Comfey and kill the Kecleon that comes afterwards, Madame Jade basically walls Lorantis. Being able to burn it with Will-O-Wisp to cut its attack in half, Fire Spin for extra chip, Infuse Ray to prevent it from healing itself, and Flame Burst that hits super effectively. Yeah, that's how much setup it took to beat this thing in a 1v1. But MJ is able to pull us out of Victory Royale. Now we've got some more lore to do, which is just a bunch of yippin' and yappin'. Kinda like what I'm doing now. Try to fall asleep playing USUM Challenge. <sighs> the Sky OC is opening, chat! Hear me out, alright? Just hear me out, okay? Once we make our way to Coney Coney City, and see Santa Claus interact with Mr. Mustache over here, we realize that this lady will give us one of five fossils, and Chad decided that our next shiny hunt should be a fossil hunt. After running a poll, it was tied between Arkin and Lilip, and although Lilip has the better shiny, the half that voted for Lilip started chanting that they wanted the dick monster, and since I'm a man of the people, I took the plume fossil which when restored, gives us Arkin. No dick monster for you. And now to save somewhat of my sanity since restoration hunts are pretty long, I just gave myself a bunch of plume fossils so I could just restore them over and over again rather than having to reset every encounter. The plan is what we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna do this and then every hour I'm going to go check the boxes and restart the game if there's nothing shiny. And if we happen to spot the shiny, yippee, but like bro, you, you see how fast he goes off screen? Like this man's leaving faster than my dad is, so like... Realistically, probably not gonna spot it. We're gonna have to go through the boxes. 12 seconds later. So. <gasps> that was shiny! That was shiny! Shut the f up! Shut the f up! I swear that was shiny! No, 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 no! I swear I saw the light green! That was shiny! No, 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 I'm not going crazy! That was shiny! I swear that was shiny! I swear that was shiny! Ish! We got it! That was shiny! We've been live for 40 minutes! We've been live for 40 minutes. I noticed that instantly. Oh my god, look at all the birds. We did that many in 40 minutes? There's our bird. Dude, are you kidding? Dude, how the f am I supposed to get out of context moments for this stupid game with all the fucking shiny hunts if every shiny hunt takes 10 minutes if there's 10 minutes per shiny hunt where are my out of contacts moments he looks sick how many encounters was that though 300 3 330 360 390 394 arkin prince Ki Ooh, ooh, i like that wait i like prince kiwi wait that's kind of fire yeah, somehow, we got this Arkin in only 396 restorations. Our luck on this game just does not stop. And I'm gonna be honest, the, uh, the fit wasn't great. Now, I won't say that we absolutely cooked, given the side-by-side, -side, but I'm also gonna say that Pokemon and the character customization is very, very limited. So, um, that's, um, the best we can do. 
She looks like she loves horses a little too much. Oh, yeah. We got a certified horse girl right here. Certified horse girl right here. With our next hunt done, we make our way to fight the island Captain Olivia, meeting Faba the Fruitcake on the way, and Plumerina. I used to have a crush on her as a kid, and I will take no questions. I've hit myself in confusion four times. I've hit myself in confusion four times in a row. Yeah, we actually wiped to her thanks to the worst confused by RNG on the planet. But thankfully, after a bit of training, we were able to beat her on our second try. The lose streak did not end there though, because right after we get destroyed by Olivia. In my defense, our team sucks against rock types and isn't the greatest in general right now. But on our second try, thankfully, we were able to pull out a victory. We led with Butler, did some chip with Fake Out, and flinched with Bite on our next turn. Olivia heals, and we hit another Bite doing over half. So surely we just knock it out now, right? Nope. Thankfully, we can take it down next turn, but we took so much unnecessary damage there. We switch into Ruby Crusader, the Wimpod, next turn to drop down Lilith's special attack with a Bug Buzz before dying. Sir Mint comes in and fires off some ominous winds. Omni? Okay. As long as you don't get it, we're fine. Thankfully, we were able to take down the leap, and we switch into Butler as Lycanroc came out to chip with Fake Out before sacrificing Sermint to the Continental Crush. President Lilac comes in and halves Lycanroc's health before going down. Litwick comes in and drops it down to red, but Butler is able to come back in and finish it off. A super close fight, but we did in fact win on our second try. Now we have to do a bunch of story stuff. Going to Aether Paradise, meeting the hot president, witnessing a Skyosi shoot out a squid, beat up said squid, make your way to Ula Ula Island, fight a rival and just barely win, go win our first gym badge almost 29 hours in, and meet up with the professor at the top of Mount Hakulani. Bro's hitting the Aaron Jaeger pose. The next totem fight is against Togo tomorrow, and currently our team can barely handle three rocks, let alone two steel types and a 1v2. So we start training up and evolve our Wimpod into Glissopod. And now we can begin our next trial. Chad, do you know his name is Sophocles because it's actually a fusion of soft testicles? Sophocles? That's why he's called that? That's so mean and f***ed up and stupid of you to do- Oh. Oh. Bird. Oh, look how good that shiny is, bro. Oh my- Dude, this is so good. Pokemon Z confirmed, chat! A token of sacks can't handle that. Chat, we need more sacks. Somebody get the scissors. I'll give him mine. Oh. Okay, it wasn't needed. Alright, let's begin our next totem fight. Oh, you mean we lost three times? Not only do we not have any real counters to a steel type with its defense stat boosted by two stages, Togedemaru knows Iron Head and Sing Zap, which both have chances to flinch. Miss after flinch, and this happened three times. The one fight where we didn't flinch and didn't miss a Will-O-Wisp, we were able to win. Litwick burns Togedemaru and then dies. Lilum halves the totem's HP with Super Fang and gets flinched to death after. Sermint comes out, drops the Skarmory with two ghost attacks and goes down. Butler is able to take down the Skarmory as the Dene gets called in. Togedemaru dies to burn and Butler is able to bite the rat to death. Yeah, I summed up this battle really quickly because this section alone took 15 minutes for one battle. And with another trial cleared comes another shiny hunt. After a lot of thinking, we decided our next target was going to be Alolan Sandshrew. Though not as good as its counterpart Alolan Vulpix, it's still a really cute Pokemon and a good shiny. But we've got to meet the coolest Pokemon villain first, your boy Guzma. This fight is pretty easy as he's only got two Pokemon, though he one-shot Litwick, nobody's surprised. Prince Kiwi the Arcan is able to drop down Glissopod below half, which forces it to switch out, but then he gets one-shot by Masquerine. Virgin comes in to deal with Masquerine, and we send in our own Glissopod to finish off Guzmas, just to add salt to wound. Then we scoop up the Mudsdale Ride Pager, ride across some rock-hard land, and arrive at our next shiny hunt spot. And this hunt actually took us over 8,000 encounters. So let's see what Chat and I got up to in the meantime. Reeves killed my entire family. Sigma. W Reeves. Can I get some? Can I get W Reeves in chat? Hardy har har. Har 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 har. Why did waves appear in Freddy show up for a second? Freddy Fart Bear just came inside of me for a minute. I'm sorry. I wouldn't hurt you, but I would threaten to for money. Chat. If you had to pick one Pokemon to be president, what president are you or what Pokemon are you picking? Mr. Mime, Chandelure or Gothitelle? I'm all for Gothitelle being president, dude. The uh, president. Why don't we have a Goth baddie running for president? Why has there never been a certified 10 out of 10 Goth baddie president candidate? Why not? Leave? Yeah. 
Yeah, I probably should leave after that one. My fault. I'll see you gamers later. Top five Pokemon. Um, my list changes a lot, but I'm gonna say Espeon number one, Gardevoir number two, Hydreigon number three, Hisuian Lilligant number four, um, Lorantis number five. I think Lorantis number five. All right, did I cook with my top five list? What is your top five Pokemon? Let me know in the comments below. Me when I gotta go to school, but also want to watch my favorite Gooner Asha waves. Chat, type one if this is real. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Mr. President, somebody peed in my pants. Oh, that's what a Jagger bomb is. It's it's a monster. Is that? I don't think that's that's no way that's true. Cause Jagger bombs were allowed way. Dude, there's no way that you're right. You gotta be wrong, Goth. I refuse to- Because Jaeger Bomb was around before monsters were a thing. Oh, Red Bull. Okay, Red Bull. See, that makes more sense. Because Red Bull's been around forever. Yeah, see, that makes more sense. Aaron Jaeger Bomb. I mean, he technically did Aaron Jaeger Bomb parody, but... What is vodka and energy drink? What is a slang name for vodka and Red Bull? You have... Raging Bull, Speedball, Liquid Cocaine, or Heart Attack Special. That's crazy. That is insane. After running around for six hours straight, I started to go uh, a bit crazy, and we discovered something even more crazy. My stomach is upset, brother. My stomach is upset. So I'm very angry with me today. The stomach does not approve of the coffee and energy drink. Sorry you feel bad, Stitch. Stitch? Wait, does this, does this sound like- I haven't seen the movies in forever. Does this sound like Stitch? I don't think it does. I haven't seen that movie in so long. Hannah means family. Wait, what does Stitch sound like? Do you speak? Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I sound like him. I don't think that sounds like that. Personally, I do not think that sounds like Stitch. To me, I push like my jaw back when I speak with this in a weird way and it works. I don't know why it works, but it works. Yo, what did he just say? What did he just say? <laughs> Yo! Stitch, we don't say that, bro. Asha, can I don't care? Oh, of course. Yeah, I don't even want the shiny, dude. Shiny's are actually kind of cringe. I am i don't even care about the shiny, honestly, dude. Like, who cares about shiny Pokemon? They're actually kind of like really stupid and cringe and dumb and ugly and stupid and cringe and dumb and ugly and stupid and cringe. Like, shiny Pokemon are stupid. They literally don't even do anything. They don't even do literally anything. Not a single thing changes. Like, like they just look, they look a little bit different. There's a little bit of a different color. Okay. So, they're not any stronger. They're not any faster. They're not any more defensive or bulky. They don't have better stats. They don't have better moves. They don't have a better nature. Nothing about them changes. They're literally like this Snoron is the exact same as the other one. Like I literally, I just want to get a normal Sandshu, bro. I don't even care, dude. Like who cares about shiny Pokemon? Honestly, shiny Pokemon are kind of cringe, dude. Honestly, who even cares about shiny Pokemon? Like I think they're kind of stupid. Like they're, they literally do nothing and they're just a waste of time. Actually, who the hell cares about shiny Pokemon? Like actually, what, what do they even do? What is the point of them? Literally, what purpose is there? Absolutely nothing. They're dumb. They're stupid. They're ugly. They literally don't even do anything. A lot. Half the time, dude. Not even. Not to mention. Not to mention. Dude. Oh my god. I don't even start. Not even to mention. Half the time, they, 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 they look worse when they're shiny Pokemon. Like, how do you take a shiny Pokemon and then they literally look worse? Like, it's like, dude. They, no one does look better than shiny signs. They literally have the time. So it's like, who the fuck even cares about shiny Pokemon? Literally, shiny Pokemon literally do nothing, and they don't matter. And I don't care. And I don't even want them because shiny Pokemon are really stupid. Like, who wants a shiny Pokemon? Not me. This guy right here, he does not want a shiny. Shiny Pokemon actually suck. And with absolutely no shiny luck. We decided to end stream and call it a day. But the next day, we fired her back up, and you could see how pumped we were. Here we go! This is a moment in history! <laughs> Wrong hole. That's what he said. <laughs> but finally, after 10 hours, we finally found something. Badge now, brother. Enjoy that sunstone. Oh, shiny little eradicate! Shiny Alolan Raticate. 
Shiny Alolan Raticate. Shiny Alolan Raticate. Literally, we wanted anything but this. But a shiny's a shiny. Almost 10 hours later, dude. Almost 10 hours later. Oh, we're not. This is evidence. We're not cheating, chat. This one took. Oh, this was twice over odds. This was over 8,000 encounters. This was over 8,000 encounters for this freaking thing. Ah, oh, rats. Something. I guess. I mean, chat, can I be honest? This guy's just sitting in the box, bro. This is a box dweller. Mr. Maroon it is. Barely fits. That's what she said. <laughs> Not to me, my dick small. Maybe actually you replace Lilac because you're dark normal. Maybe you replace Lilac. Lilac kind of sucks. I'm sorry, Lilac. You kind of suck. You're going to you're gonna spend a little bit in the boxes. I think, chat, we look quite bonita. How about y'all? I think we're kind of cooked, you know, considering that rat is our target. You know, I think we did a good job. After getting absolutely dripped and making a new shiny friend, we can do a bit of story stuff and make our way to the ghost trial. Chat, we went grocery shopping at 3 a.m. Here's what happened. Oh, little girl and her Pikachus. Oh, she's so happy. And there's Pikachu. Oh, she's so happy. And Pikachu's tail. Ooh, and uh, Ash? Is that Ash? No way. And Pikachu. And there's a Pikachu and um oh. there's another Pikachu and more Pikachu. What about the other side of the wall? What's on the other side? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's on the other with this side? Uh there's uh Pikachu and oh another Pikachu chat. I think this guy is Pikachu. There's a little Pikachu over there. Uh there's some Pikachu paw prints. Oh, there's a Pikachu. Uh upside down Pikachu and uh there's a door and a wall. Uh, what about on the ground? Is there anything on the ground? No. Nothing here. Um. Just a bunch of Pikachus. So, uh, what's, what's the point of us being- Oh. That's an ugly Pikachu. See me! No, I'm actually blind. I can't see anything. And since it's basically on brand at this point, we lost against Mimikyu in the Ghost Trial. Yeah, this thing is no joke. It basically one-shots our entire team, but upon rematching, we had a plan that absolutely failed because RNG sucks. We might have misclicked something that also cost us the battle, but that's not important, and we did win third time's the charm. We led with Ruby to Rock Tomb and lower its speed twice before going down. This allows Kiwi to come in and drop it down to half with two acrobatics. Sir Mint drops it down to one HP, and Mr. Maroon is able to pick up the KO, as well as taking down Bennett, winning us the fight. Now we did just do a shiny hunt, but after every trial, I let Chat choose our next hunt, and this time, they wanted to go backwards to Akala Island and shiny hunt for the island skin Ralts. Given the fact that our team could really use a psychic fairy type though, I was all for this idea. Shiny Ralts. Wasn't even close. Don't give me your credit card information. Don't do that. That would be really bad. But after a while, you tend to go insane. Go here. All right, the volume is turned on. Go here. Make it grounded. Why? Right, the volume is turned on. Here. Okay, I, we know that. Thank you, Ashley. Make it grounded. Why? The volume is turned on. Okay, yeah, we know that, Ashley. Thank you. Watch. No, I just said that, man. Shut up. Okay, we know that. No, I just said that. No, shut up, dude. I. No, I just said that. No, stop repeating me, dude. Stop copying me. That's not cool. That's not cool, Ashwaves. Stop. No, no, you're copying me, man. You're copying me. No, 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 no. You're copying me. Shut up. No, you're you're copying me, man. Dude, I am the original. You're the fake. I am the original, and you're the fake. No, I am the original, not you. I told you, I am the original. You are a fake. You are a fraud. I am the real one. You are not real. You are fake. You are fabricated. I am. Real. Shut up. All of you shut up. Fabricated. I'm real. Shut up. All of you shut up. Fabricated. I'm real. Shut up. All of you shut up. Fabricated. I'm real. Shut up. All of you shut up. Fabricated. I'm real. Shut up. All of you shut up. Fabricated. Ah, peace and quiet. Are you f 
kidding me, dude? Get rid of these stupid Pokemon, man. Get them out. I don't even want this. I don't even want this. I am so tempted to run away right now. Why do we get the worst things on the route, bro? Why? Why? Literally, why? Why? I'm gonna lose my mind, bro. Like, it's... It, oh, my God. That, was, that, that makes sense. It's about odds. It's about, like, a five-hour shiny, and we did an hour yesterday. Oh, my God. I'm... I'm running. I actually don't care. I'm not taking this. I'm running. No, I'm sticking to my word. I don't care. See you later, you stupid dog. I don't care. I'm not taking that. After losing my mind over a shiny pupper, I decided that we weren't going to risk finding another. Sorry, Ralts. So we made our way to Mount Hakalani in hopes of finding a shiny Axew instead. But after no luck and calling it a day, we started the next stream with some crazy luck. Deep clean the basement and gaming craft? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, shiny Axew! Oh my god! Oh my god! We've been alive for 30 minutes! We've been alive for 30 minutes! Yo! I mean, we did hunt for like, what, like four hours last time, but oh my god! For all the people who care about Pokemon looking good at Pokeballs, I'm getting this in a luxury ball for you. You are welcome. Let's go! Let's go! What do we name in this chat? Miss Noir. Lady Noir? Lady Noir, chat, yes or no? Lady Noir. We spent about five minutes trying to come up with a name, which I was later informed is the name of a character from a show called Cat Noir, but I swear that was just a coincidence. Yeah, we look like we're about to go visit Jurassic Park with this fit, but hey, in my defense, it's hard to make an Axie fit with those colors. Okay, now I hope you're ready because there was like so much store ahead of us. This section of the game is very long. First, we gotta beat Plumerina. She is so bad. Then we gotta make our way to Po Town. <gasps> Guybull! Hey, wait, we have one of those guys. We have a little guy too. Look at our little guy. That's ours. Oh, yeah. Vector. Oh, no. Not Vector. And for whatever reason, Grimsley is here and lets us ride a Sharpedo. Then we gotta break into Po Town. Get down from there, sir. You're gonna fall, and that's a safety hazard. And then we're supposed to beat up Guzma, but Guzma beat us up. In our defense, we were criminally underleveled, so we decided to take a break from the story to level grind, causing Prince Kiwi the Arkin to evolve into a... shiny Archeops? Spot the difference, I dare you. But with higher levels and a huge power-up, we can take on Guzma yet again. Ours is better. Bunk. Hey, we just bunked each other. Bunk. Yeah! Why did yours do so much?! What? You didn't crit? Why did yours do so much? What? We sent in Prince Kiwi to hit an acrobatics, triggering Galissapod's ability and forcing him to switch out into Masquerine. But since our attack was dropped thanks to Intimidate, we sent in Lapis as a sacrifice, but he ended up actually taking down Masquerine. Actually, I dare you to send in Guzzlord. Galissapod. Bring him out. Bring him out, alright? Yeah. 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 I. Go ahead, do it. First impression, you bonked me. You know what, I'm dead. But you know what's even better? I said it once, and I'll say it again. Ours is shiny, so ours is better. And the proof is right here in the pudding. He's dead. Proof's in the pudding, chat. Stop playing. Kiwi was able to take down Pinsir, winning the fight, but we've got a lot more ahead of us. We return and find out that Lily's been kidnapped, and the emo guy over here challenges us to a fight, but he gets obliterated. Then we gotta fight Nanu, the Ula Ula Island Kahuna. Why is he kinda hitting the... But he's a dark type user, so Ruby Crusader was able to make light work of his team. Then surprise surprise, Aether Paradise is actually the bad guys, so we gotta go save Lily. And during the process, Madame Jade the Litwick finally evolves into Lamp. That really seemed to be enjoying our trip here, or maybe it was just the presence of a certain character. Chat, stop spamming mommy. Chat, stop spamming mommy. I don't disagree with you, but stop spamming mommy. What? Faba got folded like an omelette, and after beating up some more Team Scroll Grunts, 
we can take on Guzma again. But before that, our Axu evolves in a fracture. But now, we get to throw down one last time with our boy Guzma. All right, my go, bring it on one last time, baby. I'm ready for this heat. Galissapod versus Galissapod, but we get forced to switch out. So we have Lapis force his to switch out, and Lapis also one-shots Masquerine. Prince Kiwi takes care of Galissapod once and for all, and then Guzma sends in the fastest pincer I have ever seen, since he's able to outspeed and one-shot us with Stone Edge. He is also able to take down Ruby Crusader, but she did enough damage for Sormint to come in and clean up, and his last Pokemon, Vikavolt, falls to our Lamp. Lamp, make it bleed. Make it bleed. Next up is Lusamine, but Thunder Thighs and Robo Mommy stand before us. Look, guy, you're so cute. I love you. Okay. See you later. Thanks for playing. Good fight. Thanks for playing. I love you. Proceeds to smack the shit out of it. Yeah, isn't that how you guys tell people you love them? By smacking them? Hey, mom! That's normal. With them out of the way, we can follow Lusamine down to her basement. If she's not like this, Chad, I don't want her. If she ain't weird like this, I don't want her. I don't want her, Chad. I don't care. If she's not weird like this, I don't want her. Yup. Is this incredibly fucked up? Yup. Is it hot in a weird way? Yup. Do I have problems? Yup. Now we're forced to fight, and though we had an incredibly close battle, even coming down to a 1v1, we eventually lost. It's not fine, bro. <sighs> Wait. The game keeps going even though we lose? Okay. Okay. We can lose this chat. Yes, sir. Then we witness our boy Guzma and a certified baddie get sucked into the sky OC. And now that that's done, we can scoop up the Master Ball and the Sun Flute and head over to Pony Island to get the Moon Flute. However, things are a bit different here on Pony Island. For example, people, or should I say Pokemon, just randomly pick you up. Ah, put me down. I do not consent to this. Put me down. This instance. That's weird. Thank you. Ugh. We do this puzzle and witness the short lady get a promotion before making our way to Exeggutor Island. We scoop up the moon flute and when paired with the sun flute, something epic happens at the sun altar. So that's where we're headed next. On our way there, we get jumped by Team Skull, but that didn't stop us from reaching Vast Pony Canyon, where we can almost take revenge on Lily. Can I push you off the bridge, Lily? Remember how like when we first met, um, your Pokemon pushed me off a bridge? Can I set up my Archeops to have it push you off the bridge now? It's only fair. The Murkos are getting ready to snipe him. Strike. Yes, push her off. Do it. Come on. Push her off. 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 Push. Aww. Though we were unsuccessful at taking revenge, we were successful at making our way to the Dragon Trial, which is against an Omni Boosted Kumo, meaning this thing is actually stronger than Base Ultra Necrozma by 150 stats. And of course, since it's a totem fight, it's a 2 versus 1. We got folded on our first try, which is basically expected at this point, but after some trial and error, we came up with a strategy that would allow us to overcome this insanely hard fight. We lead with Prince Kiwi who knows the move Endeavor, which brings the opponent down to the same HP as the user, and since Kumo outspeeds us thanks to the Omni Boost, it hits us first, but we actually live on 39 HP, so when we hit Kamo O back, it also gets lowered to 39 HP. A Caesar gets SOS and knocks us out next turn with a bullet punch, however. We then send in Madame Jade, who eats the Dragon Claw and can burn Kamo O with a Will O Wisp, putting it on a timer and halving its damage. However, Madame Jade gets taken down from our pursuit the next turn. We send in Lapis Butler, who can fake out Kamo O with a flinch, but we still go down to Caesar. Thankfully, the Kamo O also falls to the burn damage. And then it's just a 1v1 against a Scizor, which Ruby is easily able to do. Though that seemed pretty easy, Kama O knows Drain Punch, which is Stab, and its attack gets increased from the Omni Boost, so if we didn't hit Heavy with Endeavor, there was basically no point in trying to trip it down. 
And with our second to last totem down, we can do our second to last shiny hunt. But we've got a little bit more story to do first. We pull up at the altar of the moon and blow the moon flute. Observe my blowing skills. Then, with the power of anime, Cosmo evolves into Lunala and in the nick of time too, because we see our boy Guzma and the certified baddie fall out of the sky you see, and the Chrisma comes out with them. And once it puts its eyes on Lunala, it pins it down and gets freaky. Now we've got to fight the fused Necrozma, but it gets two shot between Ruby's Sucker Punch and Lapis Butler's Bite. Necrozma disappears into the ground, but we decide to chase him back to Ultra Megalopolis where his true form can be revealed. Yeah, surprise surprise, our entire team got one shot by this thing, but we had a trick up our sleeve the second time around. Ruby comes in, we first impression, then we die. We go Sermint, revive Ruby, then we die. Ruby comes back out, we first impression, then we die. Mr. Maroon comes out, we revive Ruby, then we die. We go back to Ruby. You guys see the strat? We first impression. New Dragon Pulse. We die. We got a bottom Jade. We got a bag. We use a revive. On Ruby Crusader. You power gem. We die. We go back to Ruby again. We first impression. You die. Yeah. And with that, Lunala is freed from Necrozma's grasp, and we've saved the whole multiverse from the sounds of it. Now we can begin our next shiny hunt, and Chad voted that we get a wormhole shiny, but specifically Mewtwo. Which is fitting, since we probably won't be getting Mewtwo in any other mainline title since this Pokemon is almost always locked behind postgame content. So after 30 minutes of doing the Warp Ride minigame, we finally found a Mewtwo. Oh, and we found a Yon Mega that we won't be using, but that's cool, I guess. And of course, it wouldn't be an Oshwave shiny hunt if we didn't show the out of context moments. Including my microphone making me sound like I was a part of Alvin and the Chipmunks? Poor me. I got Chinese food. Chinese food, but I only eat ch I only eat chicken balls from Chinese food because I'm weird like that. The only food I'll eat from Chinese food is chicken balls. I just like balls. What can I say? <clears throat> My favorite part about this Johnny Hunt chat is that the only thing that changes on Mewtwo is shiny is its tail. So every time I reset, I'm just staring at Mewtwo's crotch to see if it's green. But imagine my reaction when I called the shiny. 51, 51, 51, shiny. 51, 51, 51, shiny. 51, 51, 51, shiny. 51, 51, 51, shiny. No, we're not gonna hit 51. Wait. Wait. 51, 51, 51, shiny. Literally trust. Oh, man. Hey, I said imagine. I didn't say it happened. Can I really quickly, though? Can I get an 07 to the GTS? I miss the GTS, bro. That's gotta come back. 07 to the GTS. The global trading system. You could send a Pokemon away, request a Pokemon, and it would just be there forever. It would be there forever, and somebody could, like, scroll through and be like, Oh, this person wants Togedemaru and is offering Impidimp? Hey, I need a Togedemaru and I have an Impidimp. Let's trade. 07 GTS. These grapes are so crunchy. Crunchy grapes. Brother, you're just eating raisins. Those are just raisins. Have you never had a plump grape that's so juicy and crunchy and yum? No, I'm gonna be honest, chat. When I have a grapes, I literally just put it in my mouth and swallow. I don't even chew it. I mean, as with you, I don't even chew it. I literally just put it in my mouth and swallow. How are you, life? Because I eat them one at a time. I don't eat more than one. One at a time. His brother, the throat goat, is crazy. Although I didn't actually call the shiny, we did our best to manifest it. Chat, maybe everybody needs to change their color and like the, the Twitch chat to green to get green Mewtwo to appear. Maybe that's what we gotta do. We gotta lock in chat, collect as a community. Done, W. Let's go chatters. Let's go baby. We're getting Mewtwo with this one. We're getting Mewtwo. Oh my God, dude. I feel like, um, you guys remember in the movie Cars, how Chick Hick went from green to cyan i feel like we just did that but backwards we just painted over a car like in the cars movie and now he's green but like it's okay because mewtwo's green 
Green emotes. We need more green for Mewtwo. We will manifest shiny Mewtwo. Nothing but green chat. I want green emotes. I want green chatting usernames. Nothing but green for green Mewtwo. Oh my god, it worked! It worked! That's insane, shiny Mewtwo. No way! Yo! It worked! Manifestation works, chat. It works. Oh my god. It worked. Yo! I have no green balls. One. Please stay. Please. 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 Literally is that easy, chat. Literally that easy. No master ball needed. Literally. That's insane, bro. That's insane. Oh my god. After a little under 3,000 resets and everyone in chat manifesting, we actually got our shiny Mewtwo. And we caught it in a quick ball first try. What are we naming our green gamer? That's crazy, bro. That's insane that that worked. Lime Sorcerer. Wait. Wait. Lime Sorcerer. I kind of like that. Pickle Rick. Yeah, you're banned. Literally Lime Sorcerer. We instantly slap our shiny Mewtwo on the team. And we can finally get out of this Jurassic Park looking at a costume. I think we cooked. I think we cooked. What do we think, Chad? W or L fit? W or L fit? I think we're cute as hell and we cooked. Now, as you can imagine, with an absolute powerhouse of Mewtwo being added to the team, the next two battles are going to be pretty easy, including our fights against Captain Mina, though it wasn't easy because of Mewtwo. Oh, seven. Wow, you suck. Mewtwo, you're bad. We gotta go get a new legendary. That one kind of sucks. Can we just like run it back and pick a better one, a new one, a better one this time, please? And once we finished, she gave us a suspicious looking uh, uh, petal. Yo, chat. Why does that kind of look like a... Uh... Why does that kind of look like a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, that ain't no pedal, brother. That ain't no pedal. That didn't look like no pedal to me. Now we're required to get seven more pedals, which includes stomping the trial captains. And once we finish that, we can take on yet another insane totem fight. The final totem Pokemon is a Rebombi. Pretty easy, right? Wrong. It gets a double Omni Boost, so all of its stats are doubled, which puts this thing at a base stat total of 927. And it knows Quiver Dance to raise its special attack, special defense, and speed even more. On top of the good old classic, 2v1. Just like Necrozma, our entire team got one shot by Rebombi. Thank god this isn't a Nuzlocke, am I right? But like every other totem fight, we had a strategy. If we lead with Kiwi, we can actually live any attack it hits on us on just 30 HP, which allows us to hit a Stone Edge, but thanks to defeat us, even a stab critical hit Stone Edge isn't enough to kill. And to make matters worse, it SOS for a Blissey that knows Heal Pulse. Not to mention, Blissey also knows Helping Hand, just to make sure we absolutely don't live any attacks. So after watching Mewtwo get obliterated, I started to lose a bit of hope. Dude. Dude, I don't see any instance where we actually win, bro. Because Blissey has Heal Pulse. Maybe Fire Blast kills? Now wait! Now wait! If we don't miss this, we win. If we don't miss this Fire Blast, we win. Please. Oh. Oh. Please don't miss this Fire Blast. Please. Thank you! We're good, right? We win? Yes! Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, okay. Now it's just a Blissey. Now it's just a Blissey. Now thankfully, Blissey has a base defense stat of 10, which means we can one-shot it with first impression, no problem, and win our final totem battle. This also means we can begin our final shiny hunt of the video. But before we do that, I finally wanted to get ourselves a shiny Haxorus. 
Yup. That's our gamer. That's our gamer right there. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, we also destroyed the short promotion woman from before, Mewtwo Lodiff. Now, you clicked on the video, obviously you saw the thumbnail, our last target is Guzzlord. The problem is, the best rate you can find Guzzlord in the Ultra Warp Ride is a 5%, and that's if you're 4500 light years away and go into a triple ringed white wormhole. So as you can imagine, it took us over an hour and a half just to find the Guzzlord wormhole. Not the shiny, just the Pokemon. What if we get the shiny within 10 minutes, then we get the shiny within 10 minutes, and we end up clearing out the entire game today? If we find the shiny in 10, we find the shiny in 10. I will not say no to a 10 minute shiny, but Guzzlord, but I mean, we got Mewtwo under rods. I'm not expecting Guzzlord, so. Me, no. Me personally, I have infinite. Oh my god! No way! No way! What? What? We Dude, balls! You called it, bro! It's been 10 minutes! Oh my god! What? I literally even said I didn't want to find this today so I could finish the game tomorrow. Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way. Like, actually, nah. I gotta, like, beast ball? Uh, no. Uh, no. Dude. Dog. Nah. What are we naming him? King Frost. Ooh. Wait, I kind of fuck with King Frost, chat. This run has had some of the most insane shiny luck I've ever experienced in Pokemon. But that only makes me terrified for how long the next shiny only run is going to be. So if you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button for when that comes out. Shameless plug like 40 minutes into the video out of the way, we give the name King Frost and make our way to the Pokemon League, where Gladion blocks our path but gets absolutely swept by Mewtwo, easy peasy. Then Chad insists we change the drip, so surprise, now we're orange. We found a shiny victory. What if we did find a shiny on Victory Road, chat? What if we found a shiny on Victory Road? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This shiny sucks, and it's shiny locked, and I'm going to keep it that way. You are staying there, and you are leaving. We are not getting you. You stink. You're dumb. You're stupid. I don't like that shiny. After making our way through a Victory Road, we can challenge the Elite Four, which is home to some of the strongest Pokemon Alola has to offer. The team! For those of you who are wondering, the team is as follows. King Frost, the Guzzlord. Prince Kiwi, the Archeops. Lady Noir, the Haxorus. Madame Jade, the Lampent. Ruby Crusader, the Galissapod. And Lime Sorcerer, the Mewtwo. Dust Stone's not available to post game, that's why this is not a Chandelure. Versus Ace Rolla and her ghost types, where King Frost the Guzzlord was able to pick up a kill on Bennett, but her Frost Last took not only King Frost, but Lady Noir and Prince Kiwi out before falling to Lime Sorcerer the Mewtwo. Mewtwo also took down Delmize and dropped Palosand really low before getting taken out from Never Ending Nightmare. Ruby Crusader comes in and sucker punches the pile of sand and gets some damage on Driftblim, but was forced to switch out because of emergency exit. Madame Jade came in but got put down, however, Ruby came back in and lived on just 1 HP. And we were only able to win because Driplim's only attacking move is Ominous Wind, and it ran out of PP for that move, so all it could do was set up until we took it down and won the battle. A close one, but a win's a win. Next up we challenged Olivia, and her Amaldo took down Guzzlord in red HP, allowing Mewtwo to come in and pick up the revenge kill, and take down her Lycanroc too. Ruby Crusader took down her Gigalith, but her Propopass took down both Madame Jade and Lady Noir before and Ruby came back in and took it down with a Liquidation. Fidili took some damage from Prince Kiwi, but we U-turned into Ruby Crusader who could finish it off with a first impression, winning us the battle. Now, the Steel Elite 4 battle was pretty boring since we just one-shot all of our Pokemon individually, and the Flying Elite 4 member got swept by just Prince Kiwi and Mewtwo alone, so we're gonna skip those fights. 
So the second half of the Elite Four fights were pretty easy. We have one final opponent standing in our way from completing the shiny only challenge. How? More like, how did they let his goofy eye into the building? The battle starts as most do, with Ruby picking up a clean one-shot with first impression on his Raichu. Mewtwo comes in and one-shots Grabominable, and although Kiwi couldn't pick up the KO at Noivern, he did do a good amount of damage. The absolute carry comes back out and finishes off Noivern, and we send in Lady Noir to Flareon. Lady Noir hits Degwitty, but we get Charmed twice so we switch into Madame Jade. Psh, hell yeah. Okay, yeah, you, you can keep charming, you little, little nerd, putting me to minus six attack. I see you, little bro. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna Shadow Ball you. You have Charm and Baby Doll. Is, is your whole thing just lowering attack? Like, you can do that. Oh, I'm not a physical attacker, brother. You can keep lowering my attack till the day I die. You keep going. You keep Baby Doll eyes. You keep licking it. Okay, how? Actually, what are you doing, bro? This is supposed to be the champion fight. I need you to lock in. Okay, brother. I need you to lock in because you're kind of getting mauled right now, and this is very, very, very easy. Lock in, brother. Okay, that's a play. That's a play. I don't really respect it, but that's a play. Can you not hit me? Wait, is that why you're spamming? Can you not hit me because you only have fire type moves? Wait, he might not be able to hit me. He can't hit me. That's why he switched. Okay, that's a locked in play. That's. A we discovered I don't attack physically. Intimidate was not needed. But that's a locked in play. That's a locked in play right there. Ooh, that's a double locked in play. You live. But Madame Jade's here to pull. You had one job. Jade, you had one job. You had one singular task, and you failed to do that. Okay. Oh, Jade, Jade, Jade. You had one singular task. One singular task. Come on, brother. All right, it's okay, it's okay. Um, what do we do from here? I definitely think you know a fighting type move. I don't want to go Frost. We go, we go, we go Noir now. Noir, D Dance, Dragon Claw. Does that kill? Probably not. Honestly, now nah, we go Frost. We go Frost. All right, we, we lock him with Frost. Look how small he is. They had to nerf my boy's size for battle. Double Edge. Ew. Ew, that's gross. And now you just die, right? Really? Oh, I'm supposed to Dragon Claw. Maybe you Forest Door? I'm thinking, what do you send in that reads a Dragon Claw? I, dude. I told brother to lock in, and he took it seriously. Oh my god. Dude ain't playing. Bro is certified locked in. I mean, that's four times super effective. 07 Frost, but oh my god. Is he ever locked? Dude, he took my comments seriously. Crusader. Brother, we need you to save us. Because Primarina is actually kind of a problem. <laughs> oh. Okay, sick. That's a great play. You resist all my attacks. Oh my god, wait, we're getting rolled, chat. We're getting rolled. Mewtwo, you might have to save us yet again, brother. Yet again, we might need you to save us. Nice spadef drop. That's not bad. Moonblast. How much does Moonblast do? How much does Moonblast do? Okay, we live. How much does Recover heal? That did about 100. How much does Recover heal? Okay, but a crit. A crit does 1.5. Okay. Cringe, we're literally spamming recover. This is a strat, and it's because we're literally getting mauled. Are you gonna ever run out of Moonblast? Are you ever gonna run out of Moonblast? Okay, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Back where we were. On third HP. Now you fall. Now you fall. Flareon. 
Yeah, we just go back to leading. Oh, but you're just gonna spam charm again. Oh, nerd. Okay. I don't want to stay with Mewtwo and Sweep, but like if I go back to Haxus, you're just gonna spam charm. I'm pretty sure you have no special defense. Bro, what are we doing, Hal? What are we doing, brother? <laughs> What are we doing? We're still doing this? We're still doing this. Dude, how I've had like 20 moments in this battle where I'm muting my mic, like I'm muting the game sound for you, bro. Alright. Put him down. Put him down. And what's your last Pokemon? Tauros. Okay. Oh, you're 1 HP. All right, Toros, would you like to do the honors of taking yourself out? I will let you do that. I could have just recovered there, actually. I should have just recovered. Take yourself down, Toros. I see you click payback because you're a gamer. You click payback because you're a gamer. Oh, okay. Okay, I understand now. Um, D dance, dude. There's no way you want to shot me. Gaming. Gaming. Alright, Noir. Show them your power. Put this bull down. Deal the final blow. Well. You kind of beat him. And we won. Kind of beat him. We kind of beat him. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Well. We did, but Haxor is kinda. And just like that, we've beaten Pokemon Ultra Moon using only shiny Pokemon. And damn did we ever get lucky. From multiple streams of finding two shinies in one day, to both Wimpot and Guzzlord being under 100 encounter hunts, and even Arkin being only 396 encounters. I think I used all of my shiny luck for this run, which only means the next run is going to be brutal. As just a reminder, we're going to be beating every single Pokemon game using only shinies. Really quick, you guys are seeing some of the art that the artists amongst my Twitch community have made throughout us playing, and I just wanted to show them off because they're so amazing and full of personality. If you're seeing your art up here, thank you for taking the time to make these. And if you've made it to the end of this video, you'll probably enjoy the other videos of this series, so be sure to subscribe and check out our last run where we beat Pokemon Alpha Sapphire with only shiny Pokemon. 